So a Romanian lawyer has went out and spoken on the Tate situation and he has explained what will happen in the next 30 days and what he believes will happen to the Tate brothers. 29th, Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan alongside two Romanian women have been arrested in Romania and they are facing charges related to rape, human trafficking and the establishment of an organized criminal group. Now the investigation on this case dates back to April 2020 when if you remember after the Romanian police raided their house because of a complaint that was made against them by a US citizen. Long story short it seems like Tristan, Andrew's brother, flew over to their house in Romania, a US woman and one of her relatives contacted the US embassy and complained about this woman being retained against her will at the Tate's brother's house. So after the police raid happened, they were released in a few hours because they simply didn't have enough evidence against them. But that's really when this whole investigation started. Now coming back to the present moment, eight months later, once they arrived in Romania a few days ago, they've been tracked down by the Romanian police and they've been arrested for 24 hours. Yesterday, so one day Day later on December 13th they've been presented in front of the judge and the prosecutor proposed based on the evidence that he gathered to detain the suspects for 30 days his request was accepted by the judge and now Andrew Tate his brother Tristan and one Romanian woman because the other one has been set free are being under arrest for 30 days now I'm going to break down some of the specifics of this case so you get a better understanding of what's actually happening number one the prosecutor that is leading the case it's actually a civil prosecutor and he's very well known in Romania for leading some of the biggest and most famous cases against anti-mafia. For example, he's very well known for arresting the biggest drug lord in Romania and he's also the one behind the collective tragedy which for those of you that don't know it's about a nightclub that burned down which unfortunately led to 64 deaths and over 180 people being injured. Now he's also known for being one of the toughest prosecutors in Romania and because of his past experience and because he received during his career a lot of death threats he has 24-7 security assured by the special forces which to be honest tells me that he's going to go all in on this case and he really has nothing to lose. Now, in my opinion, being that he's very experienced, he would have never arrested them in the first place if he didn't have enough evidence to support the case. Number two, the fact that Tate brothers have been arrested for 30 days does not mean that they are guilty. In fact, they are innocent until proven guilty. Now, you might ask yourself, if they are not guilty, then why did the judge decide to keep them under arrest for an extra 30 days? Well, I could tell you that there are two main reasons behind it. The first reason is that so they don't escape the country because as you already know, they have like 10 passports and different citizenship and different countries and that could become a problem because if they get into a country where there's no legal treaty between Romania and that country in terms of extraditing people then obviously that could affect the investigations. Now the second reason is that so they don't interfere with the investigations itself. Here's what I mean by that. In the next 30 days the prosecutor is going to gather further evidence against them and he's mainly going to do it by questioning the witnesses and all the people involved in this case. Now if Tate brothers were free then they could talk with the people involved in this case including witnesses and they could influence their statements which will ultimately affect the course of the investigation so that's why this security measure of 30 days under arrest was accepted by the judge number three there was never a bail option and if they are found guilty they can face up to 10 to 20 years in prison now a lot of people expected for them to get out on bail because they have money but that's not how the legal system works in Romania you know the law states very clearly that in case you are facing charges for crimes that have intention behind them then unfortunately the bail is not an option for you now all the charges that they are facing are considered to have intention behind them and to give you an example of a crime that does not have intention behind it and where bail could be an option will be bribery or when you kill somebody in a car accident by mistake. Now in terms of the prison time for both rape and human trafficking the punishment is between 5 to 10 years. Now for the third one which is the establishment of an organized criminal group if found guilty of course the prison time is anywhere between 1 to 5 years. Now it's worth mentioning that during this trial some of the charges can drop and in the end they can be found guilty of only one crime or none at all. Number four, this trial can go on for one to three years but this does not mean that they're going to stay under arrest for so long. They're most likely going to be set free in quarter one 2023 and the trial is going to continue with them in freedom. It's also worth mentioning that if the girl that accused them of rape will withdraw her complaint then the charges for rape will drop as well. Now let's discuss what could happen next and what's my prediction on that. I actually predicted the fact that they are going to be arrested for 30 days yesterday when I was attending roundtable podcast on Twitter space alongside Mario and if you want to stay on the loop when it comes to those quick updates follow me on Instagram or Twitter because that's where I post the quick updates unfortunately on YouTube due to the platform's limitation I can't post quick updates now just to do a quick recap we know that Tate brothers have been arrested for 24 hours on 29th December one day later they've been presented in front of the judge and the judge decided to retain them for an extra 30 days now you should know that this decision is not final and their lawyers already appealed the decision now my prediction and what's the most likely outcome 
is that their appeal is going to be denied and the Tate brothers are going to stay under arrest for this 30 days period. Now, in the next 30 days, the prosecutor is going to gather new evidence and after the expiration of this period is going to present them to the judge and decide if they are going to prolong the arrest period with 30 days, which by the way, they can do that to up to 180 days or they are going to be set free and the investigation will continue. With now, there are so many different outcomes to the story that could potentially happen, but this lawyer does go on to say that he does believe they will be set free after the 30 days rather than being held for a further 180 days, which is extremely long and nobody wants. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this whole situation down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications on.